Okay, who do we have here today? Ah, uh, five patients. Good luck, Jonathan. Okay. Vice President Namadi Sambo. All right. Olusheguna Wakanjo. Bola Tinubu. Godre Kondrewa. I think I've seen her. And patients, Jonathan. They're all here for brain surgery. Okay. Brain surgery. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Um... Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Doctor, please. <laughs> Give me the hammer, please. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. What, what are you crying for? I thought you were a general. Doctor, please. Keep quiet, Jonathan. My people. This is what is wrong with your president. Coconut brain and corruption worms. Corruption worms. Nectar again? They've taken like. Please come back. What am I going to do? Help me, I have a PhD. Ah, quiet. <laughs> Don't waste my PhD. Don't build around the country. I have a phone call. Hello? Yes. I I'm in surgery. Oh, okay. The show is starting? Oh, thank you. All right. I have to go and take care of my show. Let the dead bury their dead. And now, introducing Dr. Jeffrey Damages. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. Mm -hmm. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. Oh, yeah. Yeah. New York City is so great that even though the Olympics is taking place in London, New York tourists still have the best view of the pre-show. Watch. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Something that happens only once in a lifetime happened this week. Not that. That is not a big deal. Even Jesus wept. Not that, not that, that's not a big deal. Even Babangida is in prison at his uh, hilltop mansion. The big story is that this week, Venus traveled across the face of the sun. It took it about seven hours to do so. Oh, Are you that? Seven hours. Do you know the distance? Is the distance it traveled? Uh -oh. No. No. How fast? Yet it traveled faster than it takes a Nigerian House of Representative probe report to go from the National Assembly to the President's desk. Hi. <laughs> and, and if you want the report to go from Aso Rock to EFCC, what? that will take a lifetime. That's right. The next time Venus will make this journey is. 105 years from now. Wow. Yeah. NASA astronomers said that other than Larry King, nobody alive saw it the last time it happened. <laughs> and, and other than Larry King, nobody will see it the next time it's Baba going to happen. Eti. Of course, Prophet T.B. Joshua disagreed. What? Here is his reaction to NASA's <laughs> prediction. <laughs> Prophet TV Joshua predicted that because he did not look up to the sky, mm -hmm. he will be around to see it the next time. Mm -hmm. Give me a break. His, his church <laughs> members agreed, including this one. I have a Many Nigerians are still mad that the president changed the name of University of Lagos to Moshuda Biola University. We went all out to find this old tape that explains why President Jonathan is obsessed with name change. It happened that he also got his name through... Just, just watch and see. Just you watch and see. I don't know. Every time I do something, it never works out right. I always get stuck. 
That's how I got my name, Good Luck Jonathan. I went into politics. I wanted to better myself. I saw an ad in a newspaper. It says, improve your personality. So I went to see the man. He told me my personality was okay, but my name was the problem. So I said to him, my name? How can a name be a problem? Even William Shakespeare said, what's in a name? He said, who? <laughs> I said, William Shakespeare. He said, look, do you want to listen to me or do you want to listen to your friends? <laughs> I said, I don't understand. I mean, is it good to change your name? He said, of course. I always change my name. In fact, right now, I can give you a very good deal. There was a man here last week. He left me a deposit on a name he never came back. Actually, it's a 1,000 Naira name. I will tell you what I will do. I have a new name coming in next week, and I need this space. I will let you have the name for 500 Naira. I said, 500 Naira? That's a lot of money. He said it's a great name. It's a name once people hear it, they will start saying it. And I said, what's the name? He said, good luck, Jonathan. I said, good luck, Jonathan? He said, yes, you see? You just had it, and you started saying the name. <laughs> Listen to me. Take the name. Ruben, go down in the basement, look at the blue box, and bring out good luck, Jonathan. I said, wait a minute. What if I use the name, and I don't like it? Can I bring it back? He said, of course. All I ask is for one thing. While you are using the name, do not give it a bad name, like bad luck. <laughs> I don't know. So finally, I decided to call myself Good Luck Jonathan. As soon as I got home, I thought to myself, what did I do? I made a mistake. I called the guy up. I said, this is Good Luck Jonathan. He said, who? <laughs> I said, Good Luck Jonathan, don't you remember? He said, oh yeah, Shakespeare's friend. I said, look, I don't want the name. He said, don't be foolish. Try it for two weeks. I guarantee you will keep it. So I tried the name for two weeks. I still didn't like it. I wanted to bring it back. But I couldn't find the guy. He changed his name. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about lifetimes, the Queen of England this week celebrated her 60th year 60 on the throne. Years. Wow, God bless the Queen. She has, oh. been, she has seen more than 12 British Prime Ministers yeah. come and go. Wow. She's old. More than eight American presidents. Oh. But she has only seen one Nigerian good luck. <laughs> <laughs> when told about this abnormality, the queen said that one good luck is enough for a lifetime. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. She's right. Many people have forgotten right. that the queen was just a little girl on vacation in Africa when her father died in 1952. Yeah. So As the story goes, the night before, she climbed up the treetop hotel in Kenya as a princess. Wow. In the morning, she came down a queen. Wow. Since then, it has remained the standard. All women who want to be queen must first climb a treetop. What? Have you? No. <laughs> Not yet. Citizens of the Commonwealth joined in the celebration, but no citizens of Liberia and Malawi. Mm. They could not get over the shock that their lady presidents may want to be like Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that means they may spend the next 60 years in power. Mm. Uh -oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Talking about queens, a Catholic nun is in trouble for writing a book on sexual ethics. Oh, what? Tell oh, yeah. me about it. In the book, Just Love, Sister Margaret Farley wrote that masturbation is not a deadly sin. The professor of Christian ethics at Yale University also mm -hmm. argued that homosexual marriage is needed to reduce head rate of gays. Ah, wow. Yeah, I get it. terrible. The Pope immediately banned the book. I, I usually do not agree with the Pope, but this time I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Holiness asked Sister Margaret one question she could not answer. Hey. The Pope asked, what do you know about sex and uh, where did you learn it? Wow. Good, good question, good question. Yes, 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 but then the Pope went on to order Catholic men to stop using condom. Mm. And, and I'm, I'm like, Mr. Pope, what do you know about sex? And <laughs> where do you know it? <laughs> there is a rumor making rounds that the first lady, Patience Jonathan, was the cause of dinner air crash. Mm. The rumor says that her plane heading to Lagos, where she was to open a hair salon, 
<laughs> was the reason why the Lagos airspace was closed. Mm. And, as such, and as such, the Dena plane could not make an emergency landing. Yes. Yeah, we want to use this opportunity to state that there is no truth to this rumor. Yeah. The first lady's plane landed in Lagos on Saturday. Mm -hmm. As of Sunday, when the crash happened, she was still making her way across the wrong way. <laughs> when the emergency call came. I hope that cleared things up. The other day, the Sultan of Sokoto, Alhaji Mohammed Abubakar III, called on the North to come back to his census. What? Okay. What? Exactly. What? Something happened to the census of the North? What <laughs> happened? I, I, I get out of here. I don't think so. The Sultan said, we cannot continue to be destructive. Enough is enough. Hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> Just when, when I was getting my, my mind around that declaration, I had El Rufai say on BBC, that President Jonathan sponsors Boko Haram bombs a as a cover of corruption <laughs> swelling around his government. Yeah, right. Come on, come on. If hiding corruption requires such an elaborate scheme, IBB will be blowing up graveyards now. I just don't believe all these doom predictions about Nigeria. Yeah. In another interview, El Rufai said that Nigeria might not be around in 2015. Hey. And then he went to the INEC IN office and picked up a form to run for president. <laughs> that, that doesn't add up. What an idiot. That doesn't add up. This week is environmental week. Oh, yeah. Shell PL PLC is doing something very important. Mm -hmm. They are doing everything to make sure that no drop of oil is ever allowed to pollute the environment. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you doubt me, take a look at this. Why are you still filming? Obviously, you have a mess up. Can I have that phone, please? This gentleman cannot come back to Scotland. Yeah. He needs to test for no, guys. And then one more person needs to come to Scotland. On the way. Yeah, yeah, what, what a mess, what a mess. <laughs> I didn't know I would ever say this, but I'm absolutely disappointed in Bishop David Oyedepo. He hired a senior advocate of Nigeria to defend him in a case that no court of law on this earth should have any jurisdiction over. Tell me, what really did the man of God do wrong? Do you know who you are talking to? Foul devil! Where are you from? I know. A slap is a slap is a slap. But a slap of a witch is just a slap of a witch. That's right! Nothing more, nothing less. Yes, sir! I mean, I fear for my salvation. Mm -hmm. When men of God capitulate in front of men who wear wigs, mm -hmm. what is next? Right. Mm. Security guard will now become rock stars. <laughs> I leave you now with this only in Nigeria story. Hmm. In River State last week, Governor Rotimi Amechi signed a bill that guaranteed him special privileges after leaving office. What? It includes 100% of his basic pay for, for life. Two choice houses in any area of his choice in River State and Abuja. Three cars replaceable every three years. Free medical expenses at home and abroad for him and his family. What? A large security vote. Hey. A lifetime immunity against persecution. What? Security details, including SSS and police for his wife and children. What? 
domestic staff, including cooks, stewards, gardeners, and hookers. What? Ah, did, I, hookers? Did, did I say hookers? I mean, I mean groupies. Oh, groupies. Oh, like, like, th like this one. Is it, is it, this is very low. <laughs> what is the question? No, don't, don't, don't think of people like that, sir. Don't do that. What, who are the jack of hands? Don't do that. Some call people jack of hands around here. No, no, no. You don't do that now. They wouldn't want to do No, it is wrong what you are doing. You need to apologize. If I cannot have a chance to do that, if I can't have a chance to do that, if I can't have a chance to do that, that language is wrong. You need to apologize. You can't ask, continue to ask. No, 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 he's like that. That's my, that's my governor too. He's my governor too. So we can ask him questions. Can you imagine? You must. You must. Can you imagine? Apologize. Can you imagine? Apologize. 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 Apologize.